Hi guys, so in my last video we have been discussing the F3S uh, by KM. Uh, we went through the modifications and uh, all of the upgrades that I have done and as well we discussed what is the Bombardier about. Today we have here uh, the new F3T, the model of 2016, it's the limited edition and uh, I would like to focus today more like what is the difference between the F3T, T means for touring and F3S, that means sexy because it's my bike. First of all, I would like to thank uh, to ImageX, the Slovak importer of these crazy bikes. Have a look on their website, they do sell uh, water scooters, uh, snowmobiles, these crazy bikes, ATVs and boats. So definitely it's worth it to, to check it out. Shall we begin? Uh, so, as you can see, but basically, what, what is the difference? It's the difference is in the look. This front part is a little bit higher. It's due to the fact that uh, they have integrated a speakers in here. I think they play pretty well. They were able to integrate all, also the mirrors into the same panel. Uh, next, what is quite a good feature is that you can uh, that you have a glove box here. Uh, it's quite quite okay for a phone or, or wallet or whatever. Uh, the disadvantage is it's not really lockable. So basically, you, all the time you need to just take it out and take it with you. Uh, as you can see, the the limited edition comes with a front windshield. Um, yeah, the the style it's more like touring. It's not really sporty style, but uh, it comes automatically uh, with that. Uh, the engine is the same, uh, even though. When I was driving it, I was reading a couple of reviews and they said it's the it's the same thing, but I don't think so. It's kind of set up a little bit to be like more like cruise and that's the beast. That's just drive like crazy, but this one is just cruising. Maybe it's just placebo, maybe I already done 12,000 kilometers and this engine still needs uh, some more kilometers to be done, but I do think it's more like for cruising. Well. The major difference is these two saddlebags, I love them, uh, the, the great thing about them is that you can open them with uh, the same key that you are starting the bike with, uh, they are fully lockable, uh, it's quite enough space inside and what I do recommend of course is to buy uh, a pair of, of bags inside so you can carry your, your things around uh, and uh, really the whole bag is different uh, because you have integrated saddlebags you cannot get rid of them uh, but what is really nice here that you, you that you have the turn light signals as well as brake signals or brake lights uh, right over there and I think it looks lovely because it's a limited edition as you can see there is chrome everywhere it's a little bit for I believe for those that like chrome it's, it's a good thing uh, but it's not really my pot of tea and the F3 uh, limited comes with a pair of uh, food uh, boards as well you can you can mount them for the for the backseat passenger and all the kind of features like backrests for the for the driver and for the passenger at the same same thing you can you can buy them and uh, and customize your bike towards your needs uh, what is the big difference compared to F3 that I have is that the front uh, suspension is the same the front shocks are the same they are foxy uh, but what is the huge improvement is that you have a pneumatic suspension in the back it's not adjustable as on the RT model uh, if you don't know what's RT we will have the video coming shortly uh, but basically you can set up the suspension based on how heavy you are as you can see I need a lot of setup to be done and um, yeah and the ride is really smooth so I really do love it Guys, I kept the final review uh, really to the last moment. Um, I have to return this bike back to the owners, but uh, I didn't want Martin to be around. The reason for that is because I think the bike is for people like him. It's no offense, it's very good, but look at his face. Yeah, he's totally enjoying it. 
uh, but he's more like the kind of person that in a city he goes 50 even though 60 is allowed out from the city he goes 70 even 90 is allowed so and this bike it's more like that I've been driving this bike for let's say other day than we shoot the video for about 300 kilometers and the very same day I took my bike for 300 and yeah I will stick with my F3S but if you like to drive two up if you like to do uh, a more cruising this bike will be definitely for you anyway thanks ImageX for the for the opportunity to test it and have fun shall we begin